Hello everyone. Uh, my name is Khaja Minhajuddin and uh, we are going uh, to be producing a series of screencasts which will help you learn how to build web applications using Ruby on Rails. So, uh, you know, we'll take this one session at a time, one screencast at a time, and today's screencast is all about setting up the environment. All right, so let's just let's jump right into it. Okay, so uh, as you see here, this is the agenda for today, and let's look at the first thing. Now, <coughs> if you want to build web applications using Ruby on Rails, you need a good development environment, and by far the best thing, the best uh, Ruby on Rails environment uh, development environment is Ubuntu. So you. Uh, I, I strongly suggest you to download and install Ubuntu and do all your Rails development on that. It's not that other platforms are not supported but uh, Ubuntu gives you a very pleasurable experience uh, with working on Rails. So without further ado let's see how you can do that. Now you can download Ubuntu from this website here ubuntu.com slash desktop get ubuntu download I've got the website open in Firefox just click on the start download button download the thing burn it on a CD and install it on your machine once you have it installed you will have uh, you will uh, get uh, a, an operating system which looks just like this okay and just make sure that you install uh, a stable version okay so right now, at, you know, when right now the st the most stable version is Ubuntu 10.10. All right. So once you have Ubuntu installed, the second thing we need is uh, we need a nice editor to uh, to write Ruby code in. So uh, the best the best and most powerful editor for Rails for creating Rails applications is Vim and we are going to install a graphical version of Vim to install it just go to the applications menu click on the Ubuntu Software Center and search for GVim once you do that you'll see that it shows us it shows us that GVim is already installed you see this green tick mark if it's not installed in on your machine you'll see an install button right here like if you look at this package it's not installed and you'll see that there is an install button right there so uh, just select GVM install it and once you have it uh, you can go to applications access applications uh, accessories and you will see uh, a menu item for GVM text editor. If you just click on it, it will open up GVM. All right. So with that done, let's uh, look at the next thing. So GVM is a very powerful editor, uh, and a lot a lot of people have built uh, plugins for Vim, which help you create Rails applications more productively. So. Uh, I already have a set of plugins which I use uh, so I suggest you start with that and then you can start adding and removing your own uh, plugins or you know whatever you like to that but as a starting point you can use my set of plugins you can download those uh, from this site https github.com slash manhajuddin slash dot files which is open in this window right here so just go to that URL and uh, once you do that you see there is a downloads button just click that and uh, download the file download the zip version of the file and once you have it alright once you have it just unzip it extract the file here and get into that directory and if you see uh, you know the thing is th there are no files shown here there are no folders 
Th that's because these are hidden files. To show those files, you need to hit Control H. So once you hit Control H on your keyboard, you'll you'll be able to see all the hidden files. Now the the important ones here are dot the dot wim the dot bash aliases git config and the dot wimrc. So I'm just gonna select these and copy them and paste them in my home folder. So uh, once you install Ubuntu, you will have a home folder with uh, the username with which you signed up in Ubuntu, uh, with which you created an account in Ubuntu. So here it's my name in Hajjuddin. I'm just gonna go to the home folder and paste the files which I just copied here. Once we have all those files, uh, we are uh, GVM should be set up to work uh, with Ruby on Rails in a nice, uh, you know, w with a lot of neat little things. Okay, so with that done, let's see what we have next. All right, so the next thing we need to do is install GNOME Do. Now. Uh, I use a lot of uh, extra applications which make things easier for me. Uh, one of those is GNOME Do. Now, if you if you remember to open up GVM, you'll have to click on Applications, Accessories, and GVM. Now, that's not uh, a very straightforward way to open up this editor. And if that's something you do uh, many times, uh, it becomes a pain. So. Uh, what you need you know what you can do in this situation is use a launcher a launcher is something which makes it easy for you to launch applications like GVM so uh, GNOME do is one such launcher to install it just go to applications Ubuntu Software Center and search for GNOME do and you see I've already installed it so it doesn't show the install button but if you don't have it installed you can just click on install and it will install it for you. Now once you have GNOME do what you can do is hit the Windows space combination on your keyboard and once you do that you'll see a small window pop up here which says type to start searching so this is the launcher which I was talking about uh, you can just type in whatever you want and it will search for that application and open it for you. So let's look at that. Now uh, let's say I want to open up Firefox. All I do is hit window space and type F I and you know uh, just by you know looking at the starting characters it knows that I want to start Firefox. So I can just hit enter and it should open up a new window of Firefox. Now uh, if I want to open up a new window of let's say uh, 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 an audio player all I do is hit window space and type the name of the audio player like what have, what have you got? Player? Yeah so there are lots of players and it, you if you have more than one, ap one application matching the things matching the characters you typed uh, you can press the down arrow and uh, go through them and open the right one so anyway and to to close this window just set the escape key alright so that is a very neat application which uh, you know which makes it you know, which makes launching applications very simple alright so that's good once we're done with that let's get in to the actual Rails installation. Now Rails is a web framework so it, it has two parts to it. It has a programming language called Ruby which is used to build the application and Rails is actually the whole framework so uh, uh, it, it, it Rails is like a set of pre-built components which makes building web applications easier but if you want to glue those components together or if you want to build your own components then you use the Ruby programming language so the first thing you need is uh, you need a working version of Ruby uh, programming language installed on your computer now the easiest thing uh, the easiest way to install Ruby is through Rails Ready okay so let's see how you can do that real quick uh, just go to this website here 
I already have it open in Firefox and copy this command uh, you'll see this this is the uh, this is rails ready which makes it easy for you to install rails just copy this command and install it uh, just just copy this command and run it and run this command and bash and you will have uh, a thing called rvm installed okay so one of the most important utilities which he used while building rails applications is the terminal and it's a very powerful thing it's also called as the command prompt on windows but it is it is way more powerful than the command prompt on windows to open up the terminal you need to click on applications accessories and click on the terminal here you can do it that way and to close it just type exit in it and hit enter but the easiest way to open up the terminal once you have gnome do is windows space de and voila you have the terminal open once you have the terminal open we want to install rvm through this command so just copy the command right click and paste it and hit enter now it's gonna do a lot of things and it's gonna take some time alright so the first thing is it's asking me for the passwords I'm just gonna enter the password and the second thing is it's asking us uh, which uh, which path to to use to to install Ruby so the thing to use here is install RVM so I'm just gonna select two so I'll tell you what RVM is while this is installing so RVM is uh, a tool which was built to help uh, manage uh, different versions of Ruby on the same machine so if you have now the thing is uh, Ruby has multiple stable versions uh, multiple working stable versions at the same time for instance at this point Ruby 187 and 192 are considered the stable versions but if you want to install the both the versions they, you, you're gonna run into a few problems now, RVM is something which will uh, help you mitigate those problems it makes managing multiple versions of Ruby a breeze okay so I'm just gonna pause the video while it installs alright looks like we're done installing RVM well, let's configure it so to do that I'm gonna uh, open up a file called the bash RC so let's do it right away uh, we're gonna use an editor which is uh, easy to use because you know this is one of the first things we're doing so just enter gedit uh, tilde slash dot bash rc and that should open up a file like this now what we need to do here is uh, copy this copy this where's the copy button yeah copy that and uh, replace this with that and uh, put these two lines at the end so I'm just gonna go to the end and put those two lines in there once we do that let's save the file and close the edit let's close the edit and uh, let's close this terminal open it again and we should have RVM installed on our machine with a working version of Ruby and just to make sure that our Ruby version is working let's run a simple command just type Ruby minus V into your bash terminal and hit enter and that should show you Ruby 192 or you know Ruby some version of Ruby that tells you that Ruby has finished installing properly alright now with that done let's see what else we got uh, so now let's install rails you can install rails by typing this command in the terminal so just say gem install rails just type this command and hit enter in your terminal 
and 